Hi, girlmates! It's me again, Gla, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And for today's episode, it's another bag review. This time, it's not from Coach, but it's from Kate Spade. And I'll be talking about the Kate Spade Margot um, in large size. Yes, <laughs> I know. Kung kailan na discontinue yung Margot, ngayon ko pa lang siya review But yeah, I will tell you a brief backgrounder. But before I do that, I just want to say thank you for those of you who just recently subscribed and watched my latest episodes. Thank you guys so much. But if you're new here and you find my content interesting, my name is Gla. I hope you consider in subscribing and hit the notification bell so that you're always notified if I have a new video. <laughs> So why I want this bag because um, when I am in the mall and I've seen a woman uh, wearing this bag, I don't know the name actually. Um, the first time I saw it, and um, yeah, anong bag kaya yon? And then yun, syempre, um, of course, I'm actually reselling bags, so dun ko nakita na ah okay, Margot pala yung name. And reason as to why as well then, nagustuhan ko tong bag na to. Ang ganda kasi ng color ng Margot niya. Actually, it's nude pink color. I forgot the exact name, pero nude pink yung color niya. And I've been waiting, I've been searching um, for that bag, pero laging sold out. And then after a while, sabi nila discontinued na daw, or madi-discontinue na yung Margot. Sabi ko, oh my god, hindi pwedeng mangyari to kasi wala pa akong Margot. And yun nga, um, Kate Spade actually panay ang sale ng Margot for a very good price. Pero wala talaga yung color na gusto ko. Um, I've seen like um, very taupe color block, yung combination ng um, lilac and uh, beige. Beige ba yun? Or uh, parang gray. Basta ganong version. And then they have the peachy orange color. They have the blue, of course, yung classic colors like uh, white and black meron then. But um, focus kasi yung isip ko at yung mata ko dun sa nude pink color na yun. And I'm losing hope to be very honest. Kasi nga, yun nga, parang yung Kate Spade talagang sinisail na yung Margot. And it seems like this just wanted to, ano, maubos lahat ng mga stock ng Margo and after that, tapos na. So, since um, wala pa rin talaga, I decided na to choose um, doon sa mga colors na available and I've um, decided na kumuha ako ng color na safe and also, um, I feel like cute uh, based on my personality. So, yeah. I've actually um, bought um, the large and medium. The medium, hindi pa dumadating. But I have the large. It's actually in very taupe color. Para siyang gray. So this is the bag. Alright, it comes with this Kate Spade New York Das bag. There. Okay. ta -da! So this is the very taupe color. This one is in large and yun, hindi nga ako nagkamali. Um, cause, <laughs> since I'm not sure kung anong size ng bag niya, kaya ako kumuha ng large and medium. So, this one is the large and yes, um, yung gamit niya is large talaga. So, by the way, I got it on sale. This one um, cost like 7,900 or 7,600 if I'm not mistaken. So, around that um, range. So, this is the bag. I just want you to see the bag close up. This is the front there. Um, side and this is the reason why I'm so disappointed so when I received this um, para naka-fold kasi yung bag so you see meron siyang crease and I feel like hindi talaga na siya babalik sa normal state niya well um, probably it will stretch out a little bit kapag ginamit nyo at nilagyan na ng gamit but to original state no it won't and Nag-take ako ng video and then sinend ko dun sa friend ko na, Hey, what happened to this bag? Blah, blah, blah. So, yun. And ayoko na kasing mag-dwell dun sa problem. Ang dami kong chika. But yeah, so this is the um, back of Margot. So just um, imagine that there's no crease at the back. And this one's a side also. Ito talaga, yung impact here. And then of course, sa harap, um, bottom, it has four metal feet. And then top, of course, yan. Uh, open siya. 
Um, okay, and this is the tag. If you would like to search, okay, pansin ko for Kate Spade, um, yung style code na nag-start ng P would be retail, and I think W, if I'm not mistaken. So, comment below if I'm wrong or if I'm correct. W if it's outlet bag. The style code is PXRUA160. Um, very, very taupe ako ng very taupe, so it's not very taupe, so stand corrected. It's true taupe. <laughs> true taupe. And then, um, Margot Large Shell. The, the suggested retail price is $398, and in US, it's $358. Okay? And in Philippine Peso, I already provided to you, but before, no, hindi siya nag sale it's, it cost you around like 10000 to 12000 if I'm not mistaken, in Philippine Peso. So, yun yung range ng price niya. And again, it depends on the store promotion, and also it depends on um, whether if it's sea cargo or air cargo. So, for sure, alam niyo naman na mas mahalang air cargo because it will only take you like um, 7 to 10 days or maximum of 2 weeks and if sea cargo naman um, it will take you like 6 to 8 weeks sometimes it will also take you like 2 months or it depends kung kailan mo release sometimes nagte take din siya ng 3 months pero sana uh, but the normal turnaround time really is 6 to 8 weeks for air for sea cargo okay there all right, so let's talk about this bag further. Um, two handles, of course. Obviously, it has this um, bag charm, um, extra piece of leather, and you have the Kate's Spade emblem um, with gray and silver hardware. And very nice. Nakakadagdag ganda talaga yung mga extra charm natin dyan. It is actually really, um, detachable. So, matatanggal nyo if you don't like it or if you want to put um, something extra or other bag charm, okay? But to me, um, this one is okay. Or this one is perfect na for this bag, okay? Simple yet classy and elegant. Huh? Dami mo sinabi. <laughs> but anyways, okay. So there, um, it's not... I feel like hindi naman siya gossipted. Kasi pag gossipted, ganun talaga eh. But a little bit, I think, over here. Both sides. And then it has this Kate Spade um, New York um logo na naka stamped at the back wala no exterior pocket uh, as mentioned it has four metallic feet it also in silver hardware and then inside of the bag what i like about this one it's not fabric parang siyang grain um textured um leather ganun there and by the way pala um this one is pebbled leather yes i'm sure it's pebbled leather and Wala naman siyang smooth leather. Yeah. Yun. But inside, um, I'm not so sure if this one is full leather, but um, if mali ako, I'll just gonna put like a description over here kung hindi siya full leather. But yung texture niya, it's not pebbled. It's not also like a smooth leather, but it's more on a textured um, full leather. Yun. It's actually in color blue, midnight blue inside. It's not black, ha? Huh? It looks black dito sa phone, but no, it's um, uh, blue, like navy blue there, okay? Um, so it has uh, this exterior, not really pocket, but compartments, and meron siyang middle zipper compartment, of course, for your valuables or important things that you need to put inside. Um, it has it comes with this extra not extra but adjustable um, detachable strap of course for you to use this as a long shoulder bag and even a crossbody bag um, it has clasp of course two clasp and the hardware is also in silver and it has Kate Spade here and you have rivets for adjustments and yes this one is adjustable with six holes there okay it's also in um through taupe color okay so there and then inside this one is fabric um lining you have an extra zipper pocket over here there and then also a snap button um pocket um or slip pocket here with um this one with this um, spade and blend, okay? And then, of course, your main compartment, okay? In terms of measurement, so for the 
interest of time, I did measure the bag a while ago, and then for the length, this one is 12 inches. For the height, it's 10 inches, and then for the width, this one is 5 inches, okay? So now, let's try to put things inside. I also did try if a 15-inch laptop will fit inside, and no. Um, well, kasha siya, nakatayo, pero kita, and it's not safe. 13-inch, I also tried it, hindi rin siya kasha. So, ang magkakasha lang inside would be like tablet, iPad mini, iPad air, ganyan. But for um, laptop, no. I prepared few things here. Okay. Um, umbrella. Let me check if this one fits. Okay. And yes. Okay. There. Okay. You can put your umbrella. And then... And um, I'll bring with me this. Uh, for sure, nakita nyo na to pala palagi. So, kasi... Uh, mas okay na ilagay nyo siya sa pouch para hindi sila kalat-kalat. And by the way, I forgot to mention yung um, this one, the zipper um, compartment, it's not attached to the bottom of the bag. So, um, kung meron kayong mga maliliit na ilalagay dito sa exterior compartments, there, there's a tendency na mag-slip sila sa kabila and vice versa. So, yun lang siguro yung magiging cons. But if it's going to be like a big things. Hindi naman. So, here, I put, siguro, beauty section and beauty section. So, this one, dito sa section na to, nilagay ko yung mga um, pa makeup, uh, hand cream, um, perfume, lipstick, yan. And I also um, put the uh, uh, mask organizer, um, tissue, and wet wipes. So, dito sa kapila naman, um, notebook, umbrella, and also the headset. But, yung headset, I can also put it dito sa inside. Alright? So, inside, of course, I'm gonna bring with me wallet. So, long wallet, of course, kasyang kasya yan. And actually, yun lang. Yung <laughs> may ko. And siguro, lipat ko na lang dito. So, those are the things that I put inside. So, meron pang mga space. But, as you can see, if nilagyan nyo ng maraming gamit, both sides dito, in exterior compartments, um, nasisiksik nyo yung gitna. So, hindi nyo rin na ma-maximize yung middle compartment. You know what I mean? Like, parang um, ganyan na siya, pipi na siya. So, there. Um, it would be best if you can organize it na balance. Unahin nyo siguro um, yung valuable things that you would like to put here sa zipper compartment. Things na uh, importante talaga na hindi pwedeng, hindi madaling mahablot. Like your wallet, phone, um, ano pa ba? Documents, passbook, etc. So, but yeah, I'm just giving you an idea. What are the things that you can put inside of this large Marco? Okay, but basically, those are the things that you can put inside of the bag. Okay, all right. So again, zipper compartment, and this one is also silver hardware. And there's a small piece of leather here, both sides. Now let's model the bag and. For this bag, um, three ways on how to use this bag. Of course, using the two handles and then for the adjustable strap as a long shoulder bag and a crossbody bag. But first, I'll show you how it looks um, using these two handles, okay? You can um, put here, so crook ng arm there. This is how it looks. Ang ganda, ang ganda lang din talaga ng size niya. Perfect size siya. And you can just grab your bag na ganyan and you can walk it na ganyan. Now using this adjustable strap, of course, okay, by the way, I forgot. Um, it has D-rings here, dito, and then dito sa other side. Pa-diagonal siya. Para, of course, for balance din. So let's attach the strap and by the way i did not remove the things that i put inside and it's kind of heavy to be very honest my bigat na siya because i put a lot um the bag alone um hindi siya super lightweight pero syempre diba guys if you put a lot of things definitely it will add more weight dun sa bag 
okay but manageable okay now i put the adjustable strap and as a long shoulder bag this is how it looks okay um front side and then at the back Benda. now as a crossbody bag this is how it looks and again it's too short for me and i need to adjust Okay, so currently, um, it's actually in the middle holes, like third and fourth. So, there. This one, this would be the longest as a crossbody bag. And my height is 5'2". So there, this is how it looks. There. Front, side, and then back to be very honest uh no for me as a crossbody bag kasi since may weight na yung bag so ganyan na siya although okay pa rin naman but mas okay siya na cro uh, no, long shoulder bag ganyan. now my thoughts on this bag okay first would be um, okay, let's go with the price. The one that I have provided you a while ago, the 7500 to 7900 It's actually good and reasonable price. For the color, I chose this because it's one of the basic colors. And I feel like a uh, safe color. Um, you can easily match it with your clothes. Same as dun sa mga black and white and even brown color. And as in, maganda siya. Clean lang din siya tignan. Very simple yet classy um yung bag i feel like this one this bag is very versatile pwede siyang pang office pwede rin siyang pang gimmick so yeah the, the structure of the bag para siyang pang executive pang executive yeah um pwede rin talaga siyang um gamitin pang meeting especially yung nude pink color na yun ang ganda <laughs> and this bag charm, it adds a little extra to this bag. Nakaganda siya. I also like the combination of silver hardware and the gray. Sobrang na-emphasize or sobrang lumutang yung color na gray um, doon sa uh, hardware niya or vice versa. And then of course, lagi kong sinasabi, um, ganda lang if um, there would be an adjustable and removable straw for you to create different looks. Kasi, um, syempre, di ba, kapag nagsawa kayo sa isang style, you have an option talaga. Kung bet mo magmaong ngayon, then go for casual. If bet mo na um, handbag lang, then go for like dressed up. I also like that meron siyang zipper compartment because doon mo ilalagay yung mga valuables mo. Now, for the exterior packet, um, it's not that talagang super duper negative or cons niya. Yun nga, hindi siya attached at the bottom. Um, wherein kapag mga small na bagay, nilipat siya sa kabila. Okay, so yun lang naman. But um, overall, yung structure ng bag is very nice. And what I like about this bag pa pala is very rare lang yung ganung bag na even though may crossbody bag, yung form, yung align ng bag, hindi nawawala. So that's very good and the size of the bag it's not too big it's not too small so perfect size to. so yeah i think that's it um i like this bag actually you know naman nakwento ko na rin kanina why and um maganda yung features ng bag okay so that's it thank you so much for joining me today and um if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe if you have any questions feedback um request comment below and I'll talk to you again next time, Glomates. Bye!